Welcome to Factorio Megabase Reverse Megabase. My name is Nilao, so this is episode 22 of our Let's Play. So we are going to pick up where we left off last time. Last time we uh, made this... Nope, we made this thing. Alright, yeah, we made the, all of the rob flying robot frame sort of layout. And there was one good comment here. Well, there's lots of good comments, but only there was one of them that I really took note of it. Was that by the time I was looking at this one, I was the iron. I was only looking at the iron needed for the gears and the pipes, but not the iron needed up here. So that, in, in fact, I increases it by quite significant. Uh, if this was three, then I think I'm going to need three more. Let's have a look at this. I use this one to get started. So thank you for those good comments. That's another 13, and this one was here. So it honestly, actually, unfortunately, has to be like this. Hmm. Well, that's not good because now I don't have room for what I need. We'll, um, we'll figure that out. The first thing I want to do is take this monster and then see if we can put it in here. It should be possible to just, yes, absolutely, tile it in here just like that. And then we'll have to figure out how to get wra wrangle things in and out as appropriate. This one is a delete thing. And it's funny how it's not, oh yeah, it's not, it just misses just a bit of seed materials. And we are also missing some stuff. What is it called? Uh, yeah, some... Steam. Steam. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not epic. Steam. Here. And let's see how much steam this one can produce. 60 steam per second. Uh, steams. <laughs> and this one here, though, is going to require 151. But I don't think it's going to run at more than that. So I, I do think that two of those will be enough. And that means we need water over here as well. Uh, although, by the way, hmm, this thing here is not great. <clears throat> this will be... I guess I can do something like... Oops. One, two, three. This will be the copper. And we need to bake it here. And then the other ones that are... Yeah, these six will be the iron ones. I think that should be good. And then this part can be... I'm just I'm just actually thinking that this one can probably just be going directly into a single one. And that's it. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Oops. Okay, so this one goes a bit out. So we actually aligned here. <clears throat> and what did we say? We saw we saw this one as being this is using 75, but it's also way overscaled. So I think this is going to be enough. And if it's not enough, then we'll just uh, correct it. It's not really a big deal. So we're correcting this. I am going to get some water inbound. We're going to have to figure out where do we get the water inbound, because I'm I'm always deleting the water around us. Uh, a lot of this is it's there. So. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, the water. And this one is the petroleum. This is the sulfuric acid. Okay. So I think we need to just try and see if we can get the sulfuric acid in here to this location. I can build it there. And that will be a pump. Oops. There. So that goes in to one. Uh, it does not go into the other one. Not easily, at least. Uh, that's going to be super clumsy. Here. I really don't like the fact that I'm doing this much belt madness to sort it. Okay, that's out. That's out, and I guess we don't get it from this side. It's not actually a huge amount that's going to be put in, so it will be saturated and it'll be fine. This one is the lubricant. Is there any way for me to get the lubricant in and out on a good way? I could bring it up here. Uh, where is the lubricant? Lubricant is on this pipe, which just has to sort of sneak its way through here. The point was that I wanted to actually make it, oops, 
make them all out on the side there. Yeah, I think this is actually a better way of doing it there. Oops. I think that I like this one better for sulfur as well. This just seems weird. Yeah. And that one is down to sulfur. And all this weird stuff is going out. Yep. All of this weird stuff. And it'll then go out here. Right, sulfur goes in here, and the same is the case. Okay, so now that we have everything that requires sulfur, and everything that requires this, it's all good. Everything should be fine. Uh, Liquid-wise, liquid -wise, everything should be sh hooked up. Great. Next thing I want to do is actually make sure that this is disconnected from the global network, because if it's not disconnected from the global network, then it'll actually send just uh, infinite materials inbound. And that's not what we want. Yeah, still. This one goes out. Let's see where it is now. Mm, I probably need to go just a bit out here and just figure out where this is a good place to build it. What if we do this? That's pretty good. Pretty good. Sweet, and all of these go in. So that means now that I need to build, I actually have to go back out beyond. Yeah, right here is the edge. If I want to get the stuff in and out. And now we can see the complaining. Oops, I think I hit the mic here, uh, mic stand. And let's see this one. And then all the way up to the top. Yeah, that's not working. It's not actually even close to working, I think, this time around. Yeah, it's bigger than the other one, so it's going to be less accurate. Uh, okay, uh, here, I'm going to keep this online. That one, how did I do this? I did it sort of everywhere. It's kind of, I like this. I like this way. Ah, it's because this is here. Okay. Uh, there. up and also some on this side and then I'm running out because of course I'm running out uh, is this by the way made in the middle I don't know I guess we'll find out here just give me 20 of these that's it Yeah, so I can actually just build them wherever the hell I want. We're going to get water here, and we're going to get water at the other location here. Good. And it gets a bit tight with where they can actually be placed in between here. As long as they reach, then it's fine. And I'm going to take one more. Boom. Hmm? Oh, is this one that's slightly too far in? That's okay. All right. <clears throat> this will kind of be the same, I guess. Except it's going to be a blue one. Then request some. There. And some more inbound here. All right, so we have some stuff here in the middle that is not actually connected, but if I look at it, if these were moved to the side, ah, it's not. Okay, so we have big issues. Hmm, what if I take 
this one up. Yes? And then... Get one of these... Up there. Then stuff like... This one could easily be built here. And with that one done, I could actually just place one more of these in here. It's not it's not completely comprehensive, but it's almost. There's still a few missing. Um I think this these are the most important ones, so if I can build it. No, I have to build it in this one. Yeah, and that one. Yes. Still have issues over here, but what if I can build it? It's still not close enough. And I don't think I could make this further out. Not a great solution. Exactly one off. Alright. <clears throat> so this is the only one that's missing. And how much are you missing? Well, not much. If it was like this, it would be fine. Yeah, so now nothing is missing and we have what we need and I think we need a few more modules or a few more roboports, but at least with the roboports we have, we now have coverage of everything we need to be covering. Great, so that was one objective done. Now, uh, I think before I actually start requesting stuff, I want to make sure that this one is in the middle. So I'm going to take this one as indicator of the middle and it should be aligned towards here. And I'm going to take the middle as in how many on this line? There are 37, so that's 19. That means, okay, that's not surprisingly, this is going to be the middle. Fine, and I'm going to take the middle. You're in the middle? Sure. Good. And now I'm going to take all of this. And then I will find that that's the middle. And crap, I can't see which one's the middle. There, and I'm just going to call that the middle, and I'm not, not escaping. There we go. Should be fine. Everything should be feasible to build here. I can take a lot of this in. Ah. Some of this here. All these just go back into my inventory because we actually need them. There. Okay. That's now done. That one. Oops. Zero and zero. All right, <clears throat> not powered, that's okay. And it's good. Oops, these two should also be changed to non-infinite chest. And instead have some kind of requester, I would say 500 seems good. There, that is what I need for this. All right. So what else, um, hmm, what did I agree with myself that I wanted to get in here? Mm, let's see, let's see, what is it? I wanted to get iron in here and copper in there, that's easy, and coal in there as well. And aside from this, it's steel coming in on a rail, let's uh, just get the whole thing here. So we get a sense of it, and what are the raw materials we need inbound? Oil is not there because it comes from coal. Copper is not there. Steel, greens, greens? 
Yeah, greens are coming in. Okay, so green and steel are the things we want inbound. It's not actually super amounts of steel. It makes no sense that I'm using this much copper, this much iron, and not taking iron in. Yeah, that's not doesn't make any sense, does it? This is the consumption. Oh yeah, because these are not tracked as in what they're doing. So that's that's why. I'm just trying to figure out what. How these would. I mean, 69, that's more than one belt. It's silly not to take. So it should be taking iron inbound. All right, let's do that. I'm going to redesign this as well. Take all of this out. Good, which should make it a better in terms of sort of design-wise. And I should have, this one should be able to move out. Uh, I'm gonna need, you can go out there. And then you could go out there. Then I can put in one more. And I only need three of these for copper, so. This is actually okay, and I can take this out as well. Now I hope I haven't messed up anything, but putting these in the middle, I think that helps. So we get... I don't like this part here. Don't like this This one being idle over there. Uh, isn't that just a case of just flipping these two around? I think it is. There. Okay, that's done. This is, this is copper. And I have some extra locations here. Maybe I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like it. You go in here. You go up here. And you are there. Okay, so that's up for the copper. I don't know. And so we get iron train in. An iron train, a green circuit train, and a steel train. It's a lot, but this one is, I mean, even though it's big, and I just don't think it feels, it doesn't feel right. So we are going to get some locations that is a unload location so let's get exactly this unload location well exactly and exactly that one no train names for sure no tile well yeah sure it gets tiles as well and what are we gonna get none of that sure that will be Why is that different? How do we have that? Oh, right. It's because it's already branching out from the other one. Cool. This thing here. I don't want that. Why is that one still? That, that's, that's off. Weird. And unfortunately, this is going to be possible to build without having robots here. Uh, having an, a global robot coverage. And actually, that's not really a big deal right now. I think it's more important to do this. Characters in the way. Did that cover? No, it did not. Well, it does now. Boom. Because I haven't set up any of these locations yet so that's good the next one I want to take is actually a uh, that one that's the one I want to have that's great sure nope yeah also tiles and It'll now be built. Actually, it's much easier to build it from online or from the map view. There we go. Ah, just a tiny bit missing. And maybe this one. Here. And uh, not quite correct. Are we not on in the network or what? 
Or are they just slow? They're just slow. Okay, never mind. And all this got done. And I need... Yeah? That one. And that's going to be the small one. There. All right. So this is also ready to go out. I will just go over here. Slightly different. This one should have... And this is going to be, I don't know, green circuits. And... That one into that one. Yes. Oh no, that's not actually how it is. It's not how these are done. These are just... Oh, there you go. It just has to be one of these. And take all of the... All of this out. This doesn't belong. And down here, we'll have to figure out how that's going to go. This one will be iron inbound, I guess. Iron in. Yes. From the global network. And we get one more down here. Also tiles. Perfect. And that will be from the map view as well. Always easier from the map view. Yeah. Yeah. Does kind of miss something. And then the rest will be there. This one is going to be steel inbound. I should have a steel inbound, right? Steel in, yes. Right. And those are all standardized, so they will be coming from whatever global network that I'm, I haven't designed yet. But it'll get there. It'll get there. Don't you worry. Okay, so now all of the stations are made. What I need is to figure out how to make the unloading robot unloading station, because we already did that here. So that seems rather simple. Robot unloading station. Hmm. Uh, that's... Hold on. How big do we say the iron train is? Why are you not? Uh, you are steel in. So also get that to steel in. Otherwise, it's just confusing. There you go. Steel is a one, a two eight train. Okay, a small train. I love that it's a small train these days. This one, yes. Actually, just take the whole damn thing. That one. Now I know exactly where it's supposed to go, so I'll take all of this out and then try again. And all these are now filtered to steel, which is perfect. The only thing that's not perfect is the inbound location here. Okay, and that will be some chests here all of these will be marked as only steel got it and that was one more mining productivity I'm gonna take all this out there this one is, oh, this is iron, so it's iron is actually way bigger. Didn't I also have an iron inbound here? Yes, I did. So let's take the iron inbound and just do that. Ah, uh, yeah, so, okay. Um, There. And this part. Actually get this one in as well. Actually no. Here. Up. Oh, 
Okay, so <clears throat> now I need to move this one somewhere more meaningful. And I will have this one. And if I can, yeah, I have to figure out where the middle is. Well, the middle is probably where I hold my hand, so that could be a thing there. And that's probably also not really the case because it would be, of course, way more meaningful to say, hey, this one can only be here, so that's probably gonna be here. And this one's gonna be called Iron In. Great. And then I build it right there. That makes sense. This one is understandably out. Huh? There, that one. That's all done. And this one is, okay, it's copper, but still the idea is the same. I don't know why it's at 17,000. I think it's because it's 10, 100 times, oh, it was 100 times as much as I needed. Now it's just a random number. Maybe just make it 10,000. Can't imagine that it's running out if it has 10,000 here. That one? I'll build this. Ah, the exoskeletons were toggled off. Damn, that's why I was, I, I thought I was running so slow and then I just thought, yeah, it's probably because I'm just too used to the fast running. Got it. And down here we got uh, that one, the green, green circuits. Green circuits, is that, that's also a 16 train. Those are really big. Let me just check where we have a green circuit coming in and that's gonna be up here. Yep. Do we also have a green circuit coming in at this location? Nope. So a green circuit build is going to be, ah. Just taking this one. And now I know exactly where that has to be. Yeah. And I'll build this one as close as possible. I'll build one on the outside. This one will be green. Yeah. And I will build here, yeah, this one. Exactly like this, and I'm changing this to green circuits, 10,000. 100,000, mm, it's a bit much. And that should be good. All right, so now we have iron, copper, and what about this? Yeah. Now I think it's time for us to let's, uh, we have one more of these here. It's going to be up on this side right there. And these are all going to be green. The funny thing is 10,000 is slightly more than one of these and that's it. <laughs> so maybe going a bit overboard on this. Okay, that's done. And now I, all I need are trains coming in. So let me just build the trains. And even though they are fake trains, then I'm still building them. I am not actually adding the, the topics for them now because that's, as soon as I do that, then maybe they'll start doing weird stuff in uh, Why Robots, the Global Robots part, so. I'm going to do this and then we're going to disable the cheaty robot and then I'll see where the next one is. Good. Yeah. It's also really nice that we can start actually utilizing things from 
generally from the network where we can take a look at things and go, okay, that's going to be the same as that one. All right, so now I need to take you out and I need to take you out for sure. And then we need to see if this is a, I just took out something wrong. That one. Is that one continuous network? No, it is not. So let's make sure that it is one continuous network. Don't care about using too many of these. That one. Yeah. And this one. And up here. Just actually copy the oh need all three. That one and that one. So now this is one continuous network. The only thing that's not a continuous network is the outbound here, which we also need to make. And I guess that's just gonna be like this one, except it's gonna be smaller. It's going to be like this one, except smaller. Hmm. So let's get this. It should now be clear where it's located. It should be located like that. And all of these inbounds don't make a lot of sense. Because they're inbound. Or they're, sorry, they're outbound. That one. That one and that one and that one. yes so this is done this one will be called that's actually isn't that exactly what it's be called no it should just be called that one uh oops because it's just a provider station it provides this where it goes well ta only time will tell and i'm gonna get another cycle of this here and here and then we need a robot loader oh now it merges and i think it, mer it merged because of that one which i didn't want do we have super robots here uh power no power no, no it's just charging oh crap i have logistics in this network shoot okay that's something we can fix at a later time because that's kind of annoying all right, uh, this one is good, except that we have an acute lack of loading. We have a loader up here. Ah, it's so small loader, so it doesn't make a difference. Does not make a difference. Mm. Oh dear, we actually have to design something ourselves. Oh, wow. I think I'll just do this. And this one will be... I really shouldn't have too many, because if I have too many, then it'll be too uneven. There. And what we need now is just kind of, you can say, a bit of a boring thing, hooking all of this up, but... Um, we can at least get some of the basic materials in here. And uh, is that a good idea? Let me just think. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we are going to, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just cut to do, to do all these things uh, because there's not much. This is just purely repetition, basically going copy, paste, get this in, this one, filter like that. Copy, paste and so on and so forth to all of these. I'll do that. I'll get rid of the 160 logistics spots and then we're ready to, to set it up. Let's jump. And here we are. We've done a bit of the manual tasks here of setting up the request and provide. What I've also done is down here, the trains have now been set and they are now exporting and they're exporting up to 10,000 
Well, they're not exporting to 10,000, I guess. The other ones are exporting to 10,000, so that's fine. <laughs> don't need this. And also don't need this part. Uh, I don't know. I'll just do that, I guess. It's a bit silly now that it will be put in here. I don't know why I do these kind of things. That was totally not what I wanted. There. Good. And up here. I also want to do the same thing here. So. Don't need so many. And. There you go. All these. Go in here. All these. Great. And then just keep smashing it in there. Also it's done. Perfect. And I have 10,000, 10,000. What I also have is in here. I don't have any robots, logistics robots anymore because they've been, yeah, well, uh, taken out and they are currently in my own inventory. That's a bad place to have them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick, make some robots and I'm gonna go, I think I'm inside the network now. I'll just ditch them into this one so that we have, how many we got? Only have nine logistics robots left in here. Now we have back to the 200. So what I want to do is actually 500. Let's get, no, actually I can do it much easier. So we are now ready to go and I will put up a train that will go here. Bum, 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 and that one, you're ready. I am going to take a requester here. You're going to get logistics. Oh, infinity filters. 500 and pick up uh, what that one that one and now it actually just gets started and what we need to do is do some verification that's 1000 I'm gonna put 2000 in and the last one what ah And there. So 2000 is clearly enough. And we are now going to spend a bit of time on looking at this. Uh, one thing I don't have though is. Oh, I couldn't do that. Can I do that? Yeah. Here. What? More barrels. 10 barrels. And that needs to be put in here as kind of a. Kind of a beginning. Uh, where can I put it? There, I can put it. This one will unbarrel and put the barrels in. Take the barrels out and take the barrels out. That should give you started. Why do we not have water? Oh, that one. I moved it. That one down and here. So move this a bit out. I've also brought in coal coal from this location should be fine I hope I think it is and also copper from this location but not iron iron comes in on a train because it's 69 and now we just have to take a look at what we're getting these two will be pretty busy actually I don't think there's a reason for doing this and this is five white now six plus six that's 12 plus 3. Okay, so that's not enough for one more of these. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Did I pick up some? No, we still... Oh, we have six remaining. Where? Where? where, where? There. Good. We want all 2,000. All right. Why are you not working? You're not working because no batteries. Why are the batteries not working? Batteries not working because no sulfuric acid. Why no sulfuric acid? Mm, I think I know why. Whoop. Should be fine, this sulfur here. This one's working fast. I have to do, we need quite a bit of sulfur here. So I put two inserters to keep up and everything else should be flashing and I will be making batteries. Yep, some toxic gas coming out of the battery farm and everything else here looks good. Yeah, so it's gonna take a while for this one to actually build, but uh, it'll get there. We are now at about 200, that's not much. Each train here is coming in with what? 400 on the entire 
what? 400, oh, right, 410 train. Uh, should I let this fill up entirely? I think so, I think so. And then I'll have two train, two of these trains, yeah. So this one will go from this location until full on into that location until empty. Very simple. And then I basically have to leave this here. I, I, I'd like to, I'd like to replace this entirely, but if I do that, then it's going to take too long for it to get started. So this is always consuming, but not much. It's just one of these trains is just going to be so much. I don't know how much. Uh, let's see, how much does each train... Oh, there we go. Each train. That is 50. That's 500. That's 2,000 times 8. That's 16,000. And the consumption over here is... Yeah, so rough numbers. If I put 16,000 in and I consume 12.19 per second and how much is that per hour or per minute? That's 21 minutes worth. Okay, that's not actually so bad. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not going to sit here and wait for this one for 20 minutes. So we're just going to wrap this one up here and hope that everything is working. I am I, I'm fairly confident that if I made some messed up things here then you will notice it the fact that we are getting stuff out is a good thing it's everything will be running on the batteries batteries is the one that's closest so it's to be expected that batteries will be short also because everything started up aside from the batteries that being said we should actually make all of these they should be all here and what if i make here and look at uh, something with frame 56 let's look on a one minute cycle here and all right, so that's a, hovering around 700 per 10 minute. That's, I don't know, that's something. We'll, we'll see. Let's take a look at this. That is per minute. What are we supposed to get per minute? We're gonna get 739 per minute, theoretically speaking. That's also a bit high set, but if I look, compare it to this frame, on a one minute, 700, we are losing a bit. And I think that's because of the batteries. The batteries are not keeping up, but if the batteries are all working at 100%, then we are getting enough batteries and everything looks like it's fine. So these are the batteries there, 16. Whoa, 16.8. Why do we have 16.8 batteries? Uh, that was supposed to be... Ah, panic, panic. Panic, panic, panic. What happened? Do we think that this one should have been a battery? I think it should have been. I think this one should have been a battery. Yeah. I think so. That one should be one up so I can get the lights as well. Yeah. I know that it was 17 point something that was the target. And now it's certainly enough. The question is whether this one is... It's actually good. If it's if this one is not actually starving, then it's good. That one takes out there. Uh, the water for that one. There. Okay, we've now made a little hack and it got better from it. Huh. What an odd situation that got better for me hacking things. I'm going to leave it here and when we come back, we are going to start on the next thing, but we might as well just take a glance at this and also the feedback from your lovely comments. I know that they're there. I know there's something I'm missing. And just a final glance on this one and then we can wrap up here. It's It actually increased a bit from this, uh, this, so I'm happy. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you like it, hit the like button, share it with uh, friends, family, your grandparents, anyone who might find an interest, your kids being homeschooled, teach them how to build factories, show them this, uh, this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care and stay effective.